Good morning, my friends. Today I'm in Draria. One of its, uh, one of its uh, uh, roundabouts, and I'm going to show you how to drive from this suburb of southwestern Algiers, which is not very far from Benaknoun, to uh, Shaula, another suburb of Algiers, which is not very far from uh, Birkhadem. So here we are in uh, the central part of Draria, where the town hall is uh, is located, and uh, Draria is known. Okay, so first, it's one of the most modern-looking and most beautiful suburbs in Algiers. I never expected it to be so beautiful with such wide roads and everything. Although. Uh, on ordinary weekdays, uh, these roads are plagued with traffic, believe me. Uh, but uh, it's worth to visit at night, because this area is uh, known for its restaurants. If you want to go to Bebas and you take the right. So, uh, as I told you, it's known for its restaurants, for its barbecue restaurants. Draria is famous. I mean, uh, barbecue re restaurant is a by name of, of this uh, of this uh, of this neighborhood, the Blida Atlas Mountains, the beautiful Blida Atlas Mountains, is in the background. They are over there with Shria, overlooking the Metija Plains, and the Metija Plains are the plains located between Algiers and Blida, and the Blida Atlas Mountains that are there in the in the background. And someday we are going to visit those beautiful mountains. All right, so now. We are arriving to the most important uh, roundabout here on our trip. Saula is on the left. Great. And the uh, Draria bus station, main bus station, is on the left. Over there, it's on the left. You can see the bus set, the bus shelters. By the way, this is also the same road that links uh, Draria to Birhadem. Birhadem is one of the most important suburbs, one of the oldest suburbs of Algiers and uh, one of the closest suburbs to the city center. I think that uh, there is a residential neighborhood here known as El Yasmin. El Yasmin. And this residential neighborhood is essentially made of houses, beautiful houses or condos, and uh, uh, El Yasmin is uh, Arabic for jasmine, the jasmine plant. So many housing developments around here have beautiful names. Okay, so these uh, speed bumps. Okay, so that is on the right. So let's drive on. It's kind of an adventure. I hope I don't get lost. I have already driven this road before, but uh, I'm not sure if I remember it very well. But as uh, usual, if we get lost, we are going to ask people for directions. You shouldn't be, be uh, afraid of, of getting lost. When you're driving, it's part of the of the trip. Although sometimes when you get lost, you might waste a lot of time. But as I told you in a in a previous video, as soon as you realize or you you start uh, you know suspecting that you you've got lost, you've got to ask for directions, or you've got to to. Uh, uh, to fix your error immediately. Don't waste time. Don't drive on in the wrong direction. And uh, the Blida Atlas Mountains can be seen in the background. And today, because the weather is so fine, uh, there is no smog. No, uh, there are no cl uh, clouds, and there, there is no fog, uh, no mist. We can clearly see the mountains. Traria. All right, Saula is on the left. Great. It's great that they installed signs to show us uh, how to drive there. 
great. They placed that sign right in the place where they should have placed it. assume that Praria is, 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 is in this direction because it looks like uh, this is the main road. It's how up, I mean. All these areas were pretty rural uh, uh, 10 to 20 years ago. There was essentially farmland here only farms all you could see uh, were only farms okay but because Algiers is growing and it's growing rapidly uh, all these areas are now residential areas And it's essential for people to know them, to get used to them, because a huge number of our uh, friends and relatives live here. Now you would almost never hear about a person moving houses to the city center. It's almost uh, inexistent. Okay? The city center is full of people. It's filled with, with, with people. It's not. All houses there are, are occupied or rented and they are extremely expensive. R rent, renting there is extremely expensive. So now people are building houses, they are purchasing houses and apartments and they are renting houses and apartments here in the suburbs. And now we are approaching an area that seems to be familiar to me. It's the Jidans Ferry area, which is part of, uh, or I think, uh, yes, it's part of Shaula, or it's very close to Shaula. Yeah, welcome to Shaula. Yeah, great. So we are on the, on the, I mean, we are on the right way. The road is bumpy, rough and bumpy. But never mind. Just slow down to avoid damaging your uh, car suspension, especially if you have a, a small Asian car like the one I'm driving here. And by the way, I love small Asian cars because they are very practical to drive here in in a busy city like Algiers. When I worked in the south of the country, I, I of course loved. Uh, big cars, big and powerful cars and SUVs but here in the city in Algeria's largest and busiest city I like driving small cars because you know there is no I mean the roads are narrow uh, you need to park your car to find just any place you can in order to park your car small spots uh, and you know it, it, only a small car would fit in the small uh, parking spot and now I think that we are entering the, the town of Schouda yeah Babessen is on the right and now we are entering the town of Schouda Saura is not very far from the Algiers Plida uh, motorway. Yes, this is Saura. We are going to cross that uh, small bridge here. I guess that uh, the, the main bus station isn't very far from here. Saura was a small colonial town. It still has uh, some of the colonial buildings in its central part. Okay, so. 
hope that the phone doesn't overheat because it's beginning to get hot here. All right, let's try straight. There is no entry sign over there, therefore we've got to take the, the left, I guess. And all these trees make uh, this type of suburb beautiful. No entry sign, therefore we can drive on. And this is how it Which is not very far from the... Uh, from the neighborhood of uh, Bilhadem. But I guess that I've got to turn around here because I don't think there is anything interesting to see around here. Okay, so go ahead. I'm going to turn around just here. I have many friends who live here in this neighborhood. But and it's essentially residential. And others have purchased land and they are building Oh, this is a mural celebrating the MCA uh, team. I think that it's Algiers' oldest uh, soccer team. And it's celebrating its 100th anniversary. Alright, so... take the left because it seems that the road on the left is will lead us back to this, uh, to this um, to the town center yes that road looks uh, promising and uh, because Hauda is an old suburb its uh, streets are narrower than uh, uh, Drarias. Okay, so be careful here because there is, I mean, this seems to be an important main street. Yes, so we are back in the central part of Schouda. Well, that was us driving from Draria to Schouda. I hope that you liked this video and found it interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the notifications button. If you want to go back to Draria, you take the right. Babali uh, and Lmarija and Qshatla are all on the right. And I am taking this road in order to go to Birhadem. Uh, take care of yourselves, drive safely, hit the notifications button in order to receive notifications on more videos like this. Visit Algiers and goodbye.